If you have Midjourney and also ChatGPT, and also have some colouring pages that didn't quite turn out right within Midjourney, then what I suggest doing is running them through DALI 3 in ChatGPT. Now I have three colouring pages just here, which I created quite some time ago. Now if we take a look at these, they just don't quite look right. See, Midjourney was having problems understanding the concept that I wanted, which was like a reindeer in a snowy setting within a snow globe. Now, what I went ahead and done was took these three images just here and used them as a base image within ChatGPT, and I got much better results, as we can see just here. These are the images which DALI3 within ChatGPT gave me. And as we can see, they look a million times better than the originals, which are just here. Now, I then went on to get DALI3 in ChatGPT to create me some covers in this same style. And I got this image just here. Now, with a little bit of modification here within Canva, I then turned this into this. And as we can see, it looks pretty good. So let's head on over to ChatGPT and let me share with you what I did to turn these images into this. Now, if you haven't already, then I highly suggest just playing with DALI 3 within ChatGPT. This is something which I've started to do more and more, and I'm actually liking this more and more as well. So, what did I actually do to use these images as a base image? Well, I started off by saying, I am a colouring book author, and we are going to create some colouring pages from my previous work. Do you understand? Just respond with yes. I then said, I am now going to give you three of my colouring pages. These colouring pages are Christmas themed, with a reindeer inside a snow globe. I actually spelt that wrong. I then want you to recreate these colouring pages and improve on them. Do you understand? Just respond with yes. So I then uploaded those three images, as we can see here, and I also said, when creating these, keep the same style and do not use lots of detail. So then it started giving me some pretty nice images. If we take a look at these, this is what this one looks like, and this is what this one looks like. I actually really like this one just here. But as we can see, it's not a proper black and white. There's a little bit of gradient on that black. So I said to it, I see that these are not black and white. So let's try again. And then I got these two images just here. Now I put these are looking great, but not quite how I want them. Let's keep them just a little bit more simpler with just a little less detail. And then it started giving me some colouring pages, which I really, really liked. This is one of my favourites just here, and this looks pretty good as well. Now I said, these look great, let's create more. Now it goes on to say just here that it needs a little bit more of a specific question. So I actually took the prompt from here, which if we click on the image, come up to the eye, we can see the prompt just there. I copied that, then just plugged that back in, and I got two more images. I was like, these look great, so let's keep everything exactly the same and create two more. And we can see, I started to get some really great results. I then just wanted to see what it would look like if I got DALI 3 to create me some covers. So I put, let's start creating the book cover for this book. Let's create two new images, but instead of creating a colouring page, I want the same image, but in bright, vivid Christmas colours. So I actually got these two just here. I was like, let's create two more and let's put some decoration around the snow globe. And they started to look good. Now I really like this one, but these bits just here don't quite look right. So I did get it to actually create some more. But first of all, I thought, hey, let's come up with some names for this book. So I then asked it for some names just here. 
and then for five more names. And this is the one which I actually really liked, which was Reindeer Wonders. So then I said, let's create two new images based on this prompt, which is this one just here. But I want the words Reindeer Wonders in bold letters at the top and curved around the snow globe. So this is where things started getting really interesting. I really liked this image as well. I then thought, let's see if I could get it to put curved words at the bottom and say in colouring book. Now it didn't quite do that, but I did end on this image, which looks really great. Now the great thing about using Canva as well, we can chuck this into Canva and we can actually delete this text just here and erase these little stars. But that's what I did. That's how I actually started off with these two, these three colouring pages just here. I then got ChatGPT to create much better colouring pages along with a cover. Now let me quickly show you how you can modify your covers here in Canva because since they're new tools this makes things so much easier. So all you want to do is click on your image, come up to edit photo and we've got all of this magic studio. Now what I did was use this one. This is called grab text. Now these are Canva Pro features as well, so please keep that in mind. If you want to try out Canva Pro, there will be a link down in the description. Now if we click on this grab text, it's going to take this text just here and separate it from the page. So let's just give that a second. And there we go. It's actually been completely separated. And now what I can do is just delete that. Now we can see we got these little bit of stars just here as well. So again, if we click on the image, go to edit photo, we can use magic eraser. Then we can just brush over the top of these stars. Then it's just going to completely erase that from the image. So let's give that a second to do that one. And there we go. Now if we do that bit as well, just mark the part of the page which you want erased. Then Canva's going to do its thing just like that. Now if we click on edit photo, that has been completely removed. And now I could put whatever I want like I did just here where I put rain deer wanders. And as we can see, it looks pretty good. So, if you have some colouring pages over in Midjourney which don't quite look right and that Midjourney couldn't quite grasp the concept which you were looking for, just like these, then take those colouring pages, plug them into ChatGPT with DALI 3 and you'll be surprised on what DALI 3 can actually do because again, if we take a quick look at these, we can see that these actually turned out extremely good. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, then click right here and watch this video.